In the journey through Colossians, where Paul passionately imparts wisdom and guidance to the church, we reach a pivotal moment in Colossians chapter 2, verses 4 through 5. These verses stand as a beacon, illuminating the path for believers amidst a world rife with misleading doctrines and superficial truths. Following the profound insights of Colossians chapter 2, verses 1 through 3, where Paul emphasizes the richness of understanding and knowledge hidden in Christ, we are now confronted with a stark yet empowering reality. This passage is not merely a continuation of thought. It is a call to vigilance and unity. It challenges us to discern truth amidst falsehood, urging us to anchor our faith in the bedrock of Scripture. Simultaneously, it offers the comforting reminder that our spiritual journey is not a solitary endeavor. Our faith, though personal, is nurtured and strengthened within the collective body of Christ. In these verses, Paul masterfully intertwines the urgency of guarding against deception with the encouragement found in our shared faith, crafting a message that resonates deeply with every believer seeking to navigate their faith with wisdom and conviction in a complex world. In Colossians chapter 2, verse 4, we read, Now this I say, lest anyone should deceive you with persuasive words. This verse holds profound significance for every believer, guiding us to remain vigilant and steadfast in our faith. The Apostle Paul, with his deep concern for the spiritual welfare of the Colossians, highlights a crucial warning, the threat of deception through eloquent yet misleading teachings. At the heart of this verse is a call to discernment. It urges us to be aware that not all teachings and doctrines, no matter how convincingly presented, align with the truth of the gospel. In an age where information is abundant and varied perspectives are offered, this verse is a beacon, reminding us to anchor our beliefs in the solid foundation of Scripture. The phrase, lest anyone should deceive you, warns us that there are those who might use their charm and persuasive speech to lead us away from the truth. This deception isn't always obvious. It can be subtle, wrapped in attractive rhetoric or intellectual appeal. Thus, the verse isn't merely a warning against obvious falsehoods, but also against the more insidious forms of error that can creep into our understanding. Moreover, Paul's admonition is an encouragement to deepen our understanding of God's Word. The best defense against deception is a robust and active engagement with the Bible. By immersing ourselves in Scripture, we equip ourselves with the knowledge and wisdom to discern truth from error. This deep dive into biblical teachings fortifies our faith, enabling us to stand firm against any misleading doctrine, however persuasive it may be. Colossians chapter 2 verse 4 is a timeless exhortation for believers to remain alert and grounded in the truth. It calls us to cultivate a discerning spirit, one that tests and weighs teachings against the unwavering standard of the scriptures. In doing so, we uphold the purity and integrity of our faith ensuring that we are not swayed by the shifting winds of doctrine, but are anchored firmly in the truth of God's Word. Building on the profound warning in verse 4 against deception, we find a message of assurance and encouragement in the subsequent verse, Colossians chapter 2, verse 5, which states, For though I am absent in the flesh, yet I am with you in spirit, rejoicing to see your good order and the steadfastness of your faith in Christ. This verse seamlessly connects with the previous one, providing both comfort and affirmation to believers. Paul, though physically distant from the Colossian believers, expresses his closeness in spirit. This spiritual presence underscores a vital truth. The unity and bond within the body of Christ are not confined to physical proximity. Believers are connected through the Holy Spirit, transcending geographical limitations. This connection is a source of strength and encouragement, especially when facing challenges or deceptions in our faith journey. The Apostle's joy in seeing your good order and the steadfastness of your faith in Christ is a testament to the effectiveness of their faithfulness. Good order refers to the disciplined, orderly manner in which they conduct their lives and church affairs. It implies a community living in harmony, guided by the principles and teachings of Christ. This order is not a rigid, legalistic structure but a harmonious and loving alignment with God's will. Steadfastness of faith is equally crucial. It's the unshakable commitment to Christ and His teachings, standing firm against various challenges, including false teachings. This steadfastness isn't a static condition, but an active, enduring trust in Christ, constantly nourished and strengthened through prayer, fellowship, and engagement with the Bible. 
In combining these elements, the joy of spiritual unity, the importance of good order in our communal and individual lives, and the need for steadfastness in faith. Paul encapsulates a comprehensive approach to Christian living. He affirms that while believers may face deceptions and challenges, they are not alone. The spiritual bond among believers and their united strength in Christ are powerful forces. Verse 5 not only serves as a bridge from the warning against deception, but also offers a positive affirmation of the strength and resilience found in a community of believers united in Christ. It's a reminder that our journey in faith is both personal and communal, grounded in the teachings of Christ and supported by the fellowship of the Church. This unity in spirit and purpose is our shield against deception and our source of joy in the Christian walk. In the light of Colossians chapter 2 verses 4 through 5, we are reminded of the dual emphasis on vigilance against deception and the strength found in our spiritual unity with Christ and fellow believers. These verses guide us in maintaining a vigilant, discerning approach towards teachings that diverge from the truth of the gospel, urging us to root our beliefs firmly in Scripture. At the same time, we are comforted and encouraged by the assurance of our spiritual bond with Christ and the Church, transcending physical barriers. This passage, therefore, serves as a powerful call to a disciplined, steadfast faith in Christ, harmonized with the joy and strength derived from our collective commitment to Him. It's a reminder that our faith journey is anchored not only in our personal relationship with Christ, but also in the shared experience and support within the body of Christ, empowering us to stand firm in our beliefs and live out our faith with confidence and conviction.